Hey guys, today we're going to talk about uh, software called the Stippler. So it's not uh, 3D stuff, it's about uh, painting, painting software. So this one it simulates the uh, like a dot matrix, remember those? Dot matri matrix printers with the dots. So instead of using a paintbrush, it uses uh, dots to render the whatever source photograph you want. So it's an implementation of uh, this paper, adaptive incremental stippling using the Poisson disk distribution by Asensio Lopez et al. So here uh, you can just download it from my website, website here. This explains the the format of the uh, input file, and this is an example. So this is uh, Jimi Hendrix, and that's what I mean by uh, stippling. You're putting dots all over all over place. So if the image is uh, whitish, you're gonna have less dots, and if the uh, it's if there's more black in the image, you're gonna have a higher density of dots. That's the whole idea. So that's the rendered image. But we're going to do it on something else, on another, no, another picture. So let's get to it. Uh, we're going to use this picture, picture of uh, Eddie Lamar, a famous actress from the 40s. So let's go into GIMP. Let's go into GIMP. I have it already loaded. And all I did, I did this. I got rid of some uh, speckles using selective Gaussian blur. And what I did is that I exported as source underscore image dot png so that I don't have to change the input file. So let's look at the input file. So this is where I'm going to run it. So let's look at the, the batch file. So the only thing after you have uh, unpacked your archive, the only thing you need to do is to change that guy. So this is the batch file. All you need to do is to make sure that this guy points to the right executable. Okay, that's very easy. And then we're going to look at the input file. So the input file, so this is the input image, source underscore image.png. Okay, so and all this is explained in the uh, in the post, the blog post. It's explained here. So you have a minimum disk radius, a maximum disk radius, the output. Uh, yeah, this is a output file that's to be used by uh, another software called uh, the Pathmaker. And this is just uh, to display to the uh, how the uh, output image is gonna be uh, rendered basically. So you have the, uh, the radius of the dots and the, uh, the secondary radius for the entire aliasing. I'm gonna try to show you the effect of all this on that example. So let's get to that example. So here I'm just gonna run the default. So you double click on this guy. And I just have a look at the default, see what it looks like. So this is the output. So this is the default. So if you want, you can uh, reduce the density of the points when there is a uh, white. So we to do that. It just zoom. Okay, so I can reduce the density of the white, and I can also reduce density in the black areas. Otherwise, you get those patterns, which is not the real. So let me do that. So we're gonna edit this guy, and I'm gonna change so. For if you want 
fewer fewer dots if you want fewer dots I think you should uh, I think you should increase this guy okay so let's try with 816 instead of the other one let's run that one Okay, so now you got fewer dots in the dark areas. Okay, so if you compare this one to that one. You have fewer dots in the dark area, in darker areas. But in the white areas, you have the same density. So if you want to change that, you need to change the other one. Okay, so so this is for the dark areas, and this is for the lighter areas. So like, if I put thirty-two, let's run that. Okay. Yeah. So now you have fewer dots in the lighter areas. Okay. So let's go back. And let's make sure I get this right. So this first one, the 8, this is for the dark areas. The second one is for the lighter areas. The higher the number, the less dense the dots are going to be. So the higher the number, the less dense. The lower the number, the more dense, of course. And I'm pretty sure this one should always be smaller than this one. So let's go back, 8.32, let's see if we, we are pleased with that one. Let's see. This one. Okay, so if you want, I think you can make it a little bit. Okay, so first let's let's zoom in to see how the dots look like. Okay, so let's see. Let's do first without anti-aliasing. So right now there's an uh, anti-aliasing, obviously. So let's say we don't want an anti-aliasing. I think if you put one here, you should get no anti-aliasing. But let's try. So let's run. And let's see the result so far. Open this one yeah so here there's no entire aliasing so radius uh, so this is one so this is radius one and no entire aliasing let's try radius two and no entire aliasing let's see if you get double the size so let's run that one. Oh no ok 
Okay, so let's run. Let's load up. Yeah, so if you compare with this one, you can see that the dots are twice as big. So now let's put a little bit of uh, anti-aliasing. So you control the entire aliasing here. So like here, I'm gonna have one pixel of entire aliasing. So let's run that one. Yeah, so here you have entire aliasing here. There's entire aliasing also here. You can see it. Let me zoom even more. Yeah, so that's the dot here. And this is the entire aliasing. So you can do even more entire aliasing if you want. So let's do even more. So instead of three, let's put five. And let's run that. So every time I'm loading the output. So here you are, that was the one before, and that's the new one with more entire aliasing. So it's a matter of taste, I guess. Which one you like best? Okay, so I like that one, I think it's nice. So that's the stippling. I like that one best actually, but I should have put more. Uh, okay, let me try. Let me try another one. So the dark, dark eight, fine. I think 16 and here. I don't want too much. I think this is not this is should be nice. Let's run that one. And compare it. Okay, so this one I get rid. Okay. Yeah, so the only difference between that one and this one is that I changed. Uh, what did I change? I changed. The only difference is here. I think the, the first one I was using a radius of uh, one. That's why it looks more contrasty. So I think we can try with three and four. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, so let's run. Uh, 
right so let's let's load up that one so i increase the radius again yeah i like that one it's not bad so we can uh, this one that one that one I think you get the idea. I think you get the idea. So that's the. Okay, let me just. 50%. So that's the default. Uh, the only thing with th the problem with that, that is that I think the density of the dark areas is a bit too much and you get uh, like a moiré effect as a pattern showing up. So yeah, I like that one. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. So this is the stapler. I've got a bunch of uh, software like that. There's another one which is the pathmaker, and there's another one which is the scribbler. And I think I'm gonna do videos for those two. Uh, what else to say? Yes. Yeah, so uh, if you like these kind of videos, uh, please let me know. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I think there's also a bell somewhere that you can uh, click on to get notified or something. Anyway, uh, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.